You've seen the C-terminal on a dual-run capacitor before. You've also seen the C-terminal on a compressor. I mean, it stands to reason that they would both connect together, right? Well, they don't connect together, and they're not even related, at least not in the way that you think. In both cases, the C denotes a common point. In the dual capacitor, it's the common point between the fan capacitor and the compressor capacitor, which is marked as HERM. In the compressor, it's the common point between the run and start windings. This is why R plus C plus S plus C equals R plus S if you ohm a compressor. The C terminal of a dual capacitor is actually fed from the opposite leg of power as the C terminal on the compressor. This is because you must run power to the start and run windings with the same leg in common with the other leg. A way to remember this is memorizing the same leg that feeds start feeds run. And the C terminal on a capacitor is actually the common feeds for the start windings of the compressor and fan, opposite side from the fan and herm plates on the capacitor. So compressor terminals, C goes to one leg of power, R goes to the other, S goes to the herm terminal on a dual run capacitor, with the other side of that capacitor C going to the same leg that feeds R. See what I'm saying? It's confusing. With 208 or 240 volt circuits, the L1 and L2 high voltage incoming lines make no difference which is which when you connect. You could swap them on the L1 and L2 on the contactor and it wouldn't change anything. But once we decide which is connected to run and which is connected to common on the compressor, then we need to hook the run side to capacitor C, not the compressor common side. There's also another common common we see, and that's the secondary side of a low voltage transformer that is opposite from R or hot. You may notice that many low voltage transformers have an ungrounded secondary, meaning that either of the wires in the secondary could be hot or common depending on how you hook it up, and it really wouldn't matter initially. In other words, one side of the transformer is designated hot because we connect it to the line side of our control, switches, thermostat, defrost boards, safety circuits, etc. It's usually the red wire. And common is the common point where all the loads connect together on the opposite side of the circuit from line, and often it's called common or C. If you're new to the trade and you see the designation C or the words common, don't assume it's the same as other C and common terminals, even in the same piece of equipment, and start connecting stuff together, unless you enjoy creating smoke. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to hvacrschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.